for all three of you, but not for I us. was just joking, but apparently I'm not. Ever since people have been around to even think about it, we've been fascinated with ghosts, spirits, the afterlife. There is a magnificent structure in Clearwater, Florida that has a long history of being home to dozens of lost souls. They tried to prove that we're actually talking to them. And I was just talking about how she died, how I feel like the lady in white died. Yeah, literally. What if something's following you guys around? Look, it went off again. Oh my god! There was a woman in a wedding dress standing behind you while you were sleeping. It just shut off, dude. And we gotta stop the investigation right now. This is too much. What the hell? We just got brought to the basement. For decades, rumors have persisted that the Biltmore Resort in Clearwater is haunted. It's like I'm walking from the door down. Get out, you tripping. <laughs> We have literally an attachment that could very well be a demon. All right, boys, we are going to the Bellevue Hotel. Does that mean that we're going to be able to see bells inside the hotel? Yes. Nice! And the cool thing is we have a balcony where you can see the bells from the view. No way! It all makes sense now. Dude, they also have a golf course! Holy shit, it's a sprinkler system! And this guy's in my way, I'm gonna hit him. Ten points for Gryffindor. Ten points for Slytherin! <laughs> no, you won't. Ah! <laughs> I have you know I'm a multi-millionaire. Dude, this is legit the entrance. Me? What was that guy talking about? Are you kidding me? Chase! Funny now, he's looking right at me. I'm like, what the f did I do? <laughs> You're like, dude didn't even see that my window was the one that was down. Do it again. I do it again. No, don't, 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 don't do it again. <laughs> there it is, boys! That looks so fancy and not gonna lie, it looks creepy as f dude. We just got brought to the basement. Wait, how did that happen? We pressed it's the fourth floor, floor button. Wait, <laughs> dude, that's actually. Oh really weird. no. Uh, yeah, we're we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna not do that. Yeah, no thanks. Wait, what the? F literally, it pointed up and it took us to the basement. No, literally. That was so weird, bro. And no one was waiting down there either. It just freaking opened up and there's the basement. Whoa, bro, look at this place. Whoa, dude, <laughs> this is so weird. Yo, look at this. This is sick. It's dude. a really cool room, but like, not your average hotel room. No. How weird is this, dude? It's odd. Like, we're basically in the attic. Not only that, look, we can peep on those people over there, dude. Oh, nice. I can't wait to see what they're doing. Hey, look, we can watch people while they swim. <laughs> <laughs> he just you said know? basically the same thing I said. <laughs> oh, beautiful. That looks sick. How is there a pool on this side, too? <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> There's two pools, dude. Yo, this is a massive bathroom, dog. The only thing you're gonna be holding is these nuts. Oh, sick. All you need is the water on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> make it rain. Stop, stop, please stop, dude. <laughs> An attachment. A spirit attachment is an intelligent, disembodied human spirit that has attached itself to a living person's energy field, aka aura, or to a building or property. Tonight we are going to one of Florida's most haunted hotels, the Bellevue Biltmore Hotel. For decades, rumors have persisted that the Biltmore Resort in Clearwater is haunted. This is an old bar in the Biltmore where people report hearing spooky sounds and voices. We're looking to see if we see any strange images, like any strange light movements or any shadows. With the cameras locked shadows, down for the night, it's off to explore the rest of this hotel. <laughs> This massive hotel was built in 1897 by a man named Henry Plant. It would become the largest wooden structure in the entire world at the time. For over a century it would thrive, but eventually landed on hard times and would sit abandoned for many years. Most of that hotel would be destroyed except for one central portion that was restored to what you see today. The crazy thing is it doesn't even sit where it sat before. They actually had to move this hotel a couple hundred feet 
away from the water. What does it take to move a 400,000 square foot hotel that's falling apart? The developer spending 13 million to move Bel Air's old Biltmore Hotel. That experience was envisioned by railroad developer Henry Plant back in 1897. Now it's not often when a haunted location is talked about for decades because of its paranormal activity. But this building is surprisingly one of them. One of the most known stories in this place is what happens with the elevator. On the outside, looking in, I really wasn't sure what I was getting. Between the high waves, on the sea, waiting for something to get to me. I wasn't sure what I was hoping for, you see. But you act like gravity and you A lot of guests will report that when they go into the elevator and push the button for their floor, it will take them directly to the basement. Now, no one's down there waiting, and no one else had pushed the button down there, which is super odd. Not only that, some people have even seen a man standing in there, ride with them the whole time, and as they exit the elevator and turn around to say goodbye, there was no one there. It has been rumored by multiple guests who stay on the fourth floor that there are children's spirits who like to play around, and also for some reason and somehow, hide inside the walls. Security guard Lester Davies says he's seen a little boy. People are saying that the reason why these kids were able to do so is because the hotel had gotten renovated. Before the hotel's renovations, there used to be secret passages. Now these passages were used for some of the workers and also some of the wealthy guests who would need to hide their children during special events. Those passages have long been sealed up, but for some reason, guests to this day will hear giggling of children and knocking inside of the wall. Lastly, the most famous story is that of a woman in white. One couple spotted her on the fourth floor by the stairs heading up to the fifth. She turned around and said to the man, don't go up there, they're angry at me. She then vanished and his curiosity got the best of him so he went up the stairs anyway. He heard what sounded like two angry men arguing and fighting, yet this entire time, his wife didn't hear or see anything that he did. On the fourth floor, it's believed a bride killed herself after her husband, a doctor on an emergency call, had a car crash on the way back to the Biltmore. Well, he was killed on the way to the honeymoon, and supposedly she had jumped off the balcony and killed herself. Her ghost has been here ever since. Yes, her ghost has been here ever since. Rumors throughout history suggest that these two men and the woman in white were somehow related. Now, there were many murders and suicides here on the property over that century of history, so who knows exactly what happened to them. But somehow, there is an evil male presence that still lingers in the hotel today. These are all stories about the hotel that we are going to go investigate tonight. But there is one thing that we would like to actually bring forward. It has been brought to our attention through all of these investigations that we have been conducting. A lot of weird things have been happening to us lately and we are pretty positive that we have an attachment. We need your guys' help to find out which location it started from. With that being said, I think it is time to go to this investigation, have a good time, and hope for the best. Okay, Ghost Gang, we are here at one of the most haunted hotels in Florida. Welcome to another episode of Nightmare Month. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we are here at the Bellevue Hotel with Seth Borden and Chase Borden. Everyone give me a hand. This place is super haunted, very well known, and there's a car coming. <laughs> with that being said, this place has so many hauntings, it's not even Funny. Not well, even a little bit. <laughs> I'll have you know that I laugh at ghosts. What I think we should do is just jump right into this investigation, see what we can find, try to prove that all these stories online are true. So, let's go. To any spirits who are here in this hotel, I know you've already seen us walking around, and you might be wondering why. I'd like to explain everything here in a minute after I do introduce ourselves because I want to be proper and I want you to know who we are. My name is Ryan. My name is Chase. My name is Seth. My name is Wyatt. And my name is River. We have a couple of devices or objects, whatever you know them as. Some of them you can use your words and some of them you can show yourself with. Where is that? 
Where are you hearing that? That's where I'm hearing I heard it from in the bedroom. That's like weird. A, like a tap. Yeah, yeah, literally. The first thing I'd like to do is show you one of the devices that we do have. A couple of... What? I just saw Wyatt's change. Oh, it got touched. Oh shit, it did. I might have caught that on camera, actually. That's a touch sensor. So these have touch sensitivity and EMF. And you saw it? Yeah, I saw it. These devices around our necks, if you walk up to one of us, move it, or use as much energy as you can, these lights will start to move around or they'll start to buzz. So if you'd like to, just kind of show us that you are here by holding on to one of these. I also have another device here in my pocket that also detects your energy. It's a little bit more sensitive, so if you walk near, it'll start to light up different colors. Whatever you'd like to do, we're just looking for a sign. We want to know if you are here and you do understand what we're saying. I'm going to go ahead and set it over here. I'm setting it right there. If at any time you'd like to show us, maybe you can walk over there and start to light it up. But for now, we're going to walk away, let you start to get a little comfortable. That's what we're looking for. We're not looking to scare you at all. It can't be us, because listen, there's a stick. Whatever polish they put on these floors, our shoes stick to it. Wait! Dude, whoa, 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 did what? you just Wait. hear that? Bro, did you just hear that? What happened? You didn't hear it? So our EMF this meter, it, this it. Our EMF meter makes noises. It starts to like tick when it starts to set off. Yeah. You heard it? Yeah. Literally. It just went into yellow. I saw it with my eyes. I definitely caught that on camera. Thank you so much. We've got a couple of more devices that we'd like to bring out as well. We just wanted to know if there was somebody here. That was crazy. What a start. Yeah. Let's get this shit out of me. Yeah. Thank you. Don't be afraid of us. We just want to have a conversation. And I want to bring out a device that you can use your words. Okay, guys, so... What I typically like to do is I like to show everybody that I put this on airplane mode so that there is nothing to interfere whatsoever. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring out. You know how it is, we keep it legit. Is that you? That was like a whole That was like, some, something that was like moving. Furniture that moving. Like yes! Chair. Yeah. That's straight, it sounded like the chair moving or something. If you would like to say anything, whether it's one word or a whole sentence, I'm gonna stick this over there, near the EMF meter, near that device on the table. And I'll just let you talk if you'd like to. Feel free, say whatever you'd like, just so that we know that you understand how to use the device. Give us any word you'd like, for now. And then we're gonna ask a couple of questions, if that's okay. Do you see it? Did it go off? It just went off. Painter's going off. I'm oh, I saw that go to whoa! That's going on red, dude. I'm too far away to set that off with my camera. That's crazy. Ahead. 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 Whoa! Right in front of us. Holy right shit! Right in front of us. Ahead. Right. Is there somebody here with us? Do you, Do you want to talk to us? That's spiking all the way to whoa. red, dude. That's like intense energy. You know how hard it is to get a K2 to go to red. That never happens. By any chance, can you maybe hold on to that object and just continue to make it go red? Instead of just giving it a couple of taps, I don't know if you have that kind of energy, but if you need more energy, these objects, these devices, in all of these guys' hands, you can use the battery to gain as much energy as possible. Did you guys just hear that? Yeah, what'd you hear? Why, did you just Wait. move? No. Holy shit, it sounded like, like white was moving or something. Yeah. You hear too? Yeah. By any chance, is this a child? Because we heard that there's children here. Or is this somebody else? Maybe you can give us a name. Wyatt. Did you hear that? Look, I heard that 100%. Wyatt, where are you? Right here. That's not you, is it? 
Bro, I heard it from right here. Like this area. If that knock was you, can you spike that back up to red? Oh, as soon as you did that just it, go off, guys? Dude. It did. It went to yellow twice. It's trying. Thank you. Oh, it just did it again. Do you want to keep using this object to communicate? If so, spike it back up. Bill. Why he gave me a name. I asked for a name. Thank you, Bill. So I'm talking to somebody named Bill right now. You just spiked up to red again. Bill, is it Billy? By any chance? Are you a child? Whatever you'd like us to call you, we could call you Bill. We could call you Billy. I don't know if you're a child. Wait, I'm hearing somebody talking. Like, no lie, over here. Put Same your, place I heard those those two knocks. Put your ear up against the wall just to make sure. Because, like, there's not many cars here, if you've but noticed. There could be people staying. Could be, but I did notice that there's really not that many cars here. There's like four cars outside. Yeah. The, the odds of it being other people is pretty slim then. Put your ear up against the wall just to make sure though. That was That's in here. That's, in, that's in here. Is that, that you knock it? Dude, it sounds like one of you guys are f walking. Yeah, we have this camera to prove that we're not walking right now. Why it's over there? It sounds like it's behind you guys or like semi close. You guys. That's really behind you guys. Who's walking behind these two? Is there somebody pacing? Victoria. Victoria? Is there a Victoria with us? Did that spike? Oh, just... To the spirit that we're communicating with right now, did you die here? If you did, can you give us an obvious sign? Forget that knock. I did. Same spot, dude. It's the same, like. It's like this general. It's loud, but it's like a faint. I heard that too. Yeah, the K2 just went off as you're talking, trying to describe the knock. Camera. No! Yeah. No way! Camera! No oh, way, dude! We're using cameras to record what we're doing right now. So if you'd like to communicate with us and explain your story, then please continue communicating with us. These cameras are catching everything. It's the same knocking. Dude. It's not yeah. stopping. Where is that coming from? I don't know, dude. Now it sounds like it's right around that. And there's no, there's no other, there's not a room on the other side of this. No, no this is and this, us, this is a hallway. Yeah, behind us is a staircase. See, if it was on that side, that'd be a different thing. There's room on the other side of there. No, because that's our room. There's no one in there. Oh, yeah, it is our room. So if there's noises coming from our room, there's that's... literally no one around us. No. Collect. 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 We are collecting evidence, evidence that. Even though you're not in this physical world, that you are still here. Is that okay? Oh my Whoa, that was a really good touch. That went on for like half a second. That was insane. Just making sure it wasn't me. That was f***ing cool. If it's okay that we're collecting evidence about your presence, can you give us another sign? Dude. It went twice. That's crazy. Dude, it's it's mind blowing to me because bro, even you know how hard it is to get a K2 to dude, go off. Yes. It's lit, it's communicating so good right now. Even with just that. So crazy. How about we try this other device that I have? I'm gonna go ahead and set this here. I'm gonna demonstrate how it works. Okay guys, it's gonna calibrate and then I'm gonna explain. See if they walk in front of it. After I fix it. I'm actually gonna go back down this way. 15. Fifteen? Child. That could be their age. Are you saying fifteen as in your age? Is that how old you are? Calibrating. There's something here. Oh! If that's you, can you set that device off again, please? Just to confirm that it's actually you and not us. It's not us. Otherwise, that would start going off. You guys are in the same. Thanks. Thanks. 
Thanks. Right now, you guys are in the same. That's yeah, jumping yellow. up. That's jumping up. If you don't know completely how this device works, I'm going to go ahead and explain how it works. All you need to do is walk in front of it, just like that. So, I'll... dude. <laughs> Whoa, man. Okay, that's crazy. Is this Bill or Victoria? If it is, can you set Potential. Potential. Maybe. If this is one of those people, can you set that device off again for me like you have been this whole time? Just walk in front of it, please. If this is a... I was about to ask if this is a different spirit. So, wait. It might have taken them a little bit of time to try and show us that they were here to gather some energy. Mm -hmm. That's true. I'm gonna ask one more time just to be sure. Is this Bill or Victoria? If it is, can you set that device off one more time for us, please? Bill, if it's you, touch the one on the glass table. And Victoria, if it's you. Oh, that just went up to orange. That was Bill. If Victoria's here, maybe Bill, can you stand away? And can Victoria walk in front of this device, please? We're just trying to see if you are here, Victoria. Do you hear that? Dude, someone's walking. It's like over here too. Is it? Disaster. Oh, shit. Are you shitting me? Holy it's shit. It's a disaster. Are you looking at me? That's crazy, dude. Dude! The pause, the pause after you asked for Victoria compared to when he asked for Bill. It was like literally immediate when we asked for Bill. That was yeah, nuts. nuts. Bill, is it okay that we're here? Can you give us a sign if it's okay if we're here, Bill? Dangerous. Dangerous. Guys, there's two evil spirits that are here. Wait, you know what else left? We keep hearing the footsteps? Apparently they're above. On the fifth floor. The evil spirits? Mm -hmm. No the way. The floor that we can't get onto. And that's where we keep hearing shit, walking Cause, around. Because no one can go on fifth floor. No right? one can go on the fifth floor. So no one's above us walking. As we're talking about Shh. it. So you know information about those two evil spirits? Well, it said disaster, and then it said dangerous. Yeah. Tragedy. tragedy. Wait, disaster, Dude. tragedy. It said it said two synonyms. That never happens. Whoa. I have a question. Are there two evil spirits nearby? Can you walk in front of that? If that's what you're trying to warn us about. Are you talking about the two spirits that had fought the evil ones? Guys, another spirit that is known to walk up and down the halls, the lady in white. I forgot about that. I've got this other device here. I'm just gonna keep setting them around. And if there are children, think of these as like toys. They make noises, they light up. None of these devices, these objects are gonna harm you whatsoever. We just wanna know who's here. And we know Bill is here. We don't know if you are a child. If you can tell us through that device over there that you're using your words, maybe you can give us that information. Who are you? Who are you? Wow. You know what? It's really weird that we got that response, bro, because I've been feeling like this whole time, whoever's in here communicating with us is still trying to like figure out who we are, like scope us, kind of figure out our intentions even though we... We just brought up the two evil spirits. So they maybe talking them. about them, maybe one of them just showed up, or mm. both. Well, the one who was just talking, asking that question, my name is Ryan. I was just asking if this is a child or an adult. We're just trying to get a little bit of information. Girl. Girl. Oh, oh wow. my wow. gosh. Wait, why was it right after you asked that question? And this, now it's a girl. Before yeah. Victoria wasn't coming up to it. Now it's saying it's a girl after we were just talking about the lady in white. Wait, what if Victoria is a woman in white? Do we know her name? No. And she might be, Yo. she might be a little too scared to communicate with us. Why that, that's why she didn't answer. 
Oh shit. We're not here to hurt you or anything like that. We're just here to talk to you. I'm not sure if you know this, but it's been a very long time. And all of you that can hear me, you're dead. Body. Whoa, dude. That's weird. I'm gonna go ahead and set this other device on the ground. What I'd like you to do is just walk up to this device here. If you get close to this antenna, it'll start to buzz and it'll start to light up. I'm gonna let you guys know that this one is a bit more hard to set off. So even a human like us, did you see how much I set it off? Yeah. Barely anything. Yeah, yeah. If you'd like to, just give us a sign. We heard that you have shown yourself to a couple of guests that have stayed here at the hotel. Whoa! <laughs> it went off all the way. Whoa, dude. Thank you. Thank you so much. And it was, you saw that? The, the, Whoa, the music box went yeah. over them at the same Bro. time. Dude, dude, this is crazy. Why it's home, dude. I think they're figuring it. It's like they're walking from the door down. Dude, I'm tripping. This is <laughs> crazy. I'm just in the middle of my trying to move set up. This is anything. crazy. This is insane. See how talking. 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 Yo, you were talking earlier, right yeah. in the corner. Was that you talking to <gasps> us? Guys, can I tell you something? What? Pop this up because in the history, the haunted history. Oh, in the haunted history, that is one of the main things. Dude, Dude, these are going crazy. That is one of the main hauntings here. People hear random talking That's all true. the time. Oh, that is one of the shit. main hauntings. That's right. They are very interested in this. I'm going to show one more time. See this? So sometimes it doesn't even trigger from us people. Yeah, look at how close you were to that. Nothing. I'm even touching the antenna. What the hell? So That's that kind insane. of energy we can't even produce. I can walk up to a REM pod and set it off right now. You're literally walking up to that thing and touching it and it's not going off. If you know any information about the two men, the evil spirits, people see them as shadow figures. Can you give us a sign if you know who they are and if they do exist here in this hotel? Dude, Victoria. Victoria again. Dude, it has to be. And then that goes off. Dude, Victoria has to be. She has to be the lady in white. Are we talking to Victoria right now? Is that who's here with us? If it is, that's okay. I just want to know. <laughs> Dude. Okay. What? I'm just standing here. I'll stand away too. Well, Victoria. Supposedly there is a can't breathe. Can't breathe. Can't breathe. Wait. Disaster. Tragedy. Yeah. Yeah. Holy that's shit. In the, that's dude. in the story. The hauntings. Dude, we might be uncovering like her story. So supposedly the lady in white was suffocated? Yes. Oh my god. Okay. If what we are saying about the lady in white is true, can you please give us a sign? EMF. No way. Dude, yeah. I heard it. I heard Bro. that. That's been a long time since the EMF meter went off. That much? Wait a second. That's off. That just went off, right? And then obviously someone just walked over here. They're walking back and forth. Maybe mm -hmm. that's all those noises that we kept hearing. What sounds like footsteps pacing back and forth. Good point. This is too coincidental to be a coincidence. Does that make sense? No, 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 for sure. Winding up, dude. Notice how much the spirit talker didn't go off when we came over here. Exactly. And then finally just randomly says can't breathe as we're talking about Lydia and White. That's wild. Alright. Do you want us to go back over there? I think they might have meant for us to go in the room. Oh, because when you walk in, you go to the right. This is the only device that's going off right now. Is that where you want us to go? If you want us to go in the room, I've got these cat toys. 
I know it sounds ridiculous, but if you slightly move them, they'll start to light up. What I'm gonna do is set them over there on the bed, and if you can, light one of them up, and we'll make our way into the room if that's what you want us to do. Yeah, that's the old Wait, is somebody here? Are you sure it's them? Or is it someone, something opening it? Oh, it might be. Like how we got sent to the basement. Yeah. Oh my god, that's right. True. Let's make sure. Yeah. Poke your head out there, not your camera. Yeah. There's nobody there. Check the other side. No, nobody. What the f? Oh, the only thing is that they already went to their room. But the elevator just went off. Hey, you're just saying, wait, 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 wait. Check. One of the stories is that they can manipulate the elevator to do things. Just saying, though, just right now, it's just the elevator is beeping and going up and down, the doors are open. And notice how all communication is halted. So weird. So odd, yeah. dude. Like you can hear it, it's going up yeah, and down, going up and down. Okay. It could be something, but yeah. what, what time is it now? It's gotta be at least midnight, it has to be. Yeah, but the thing, that's been going off. It's went off and beeped it like, going up like and five or six times, so it's going up and down without even opening the door. The fact that the spirit is apparently, one of the spirits is apparently able to manipulate the elevator to do things. And the fact that we already experienced that before we even knew that that was one of the stories. Yeah. So. Dude, the elevator's just over. Should we go and click the button? Take picture. Take picture. Take picture at the elevator. You want us to go to the Don't elevator with wait. cameras? The, the only physical evidence of the lady in white was a photograph. I'm gonna go by myself. I'm gonna film on my phone to the elevator, and I'm just gonna see if it's a person. I'm gonna go down to the lobby and then back up, okay? I'm just, I'm curious. Do y'all want to try something? What do you have in mind? Every now and then we'll do this thing. The K2's going off. Oh my god. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! god. Wait. Literally, I was just about to say. Better. I feel a weird energy over here. And sometimes, mm -hmm. we'll all sit down in a circle, join hands, and really like focus your energy into it, and see if we can bring whatever's going on here. Even closer. Yeah. Okay. You want to try it? Yeah. Chase, just freaking. Yeah, just jump over here. Yeah, just kneel Sitting. right there. Sitting. No f way, dude. There is no way. There is absolutely no, no way. That's insane. Okay. Wait. Do any of the spirits here in this building, here in this area, on these lands, we're gathered here together. We're joining our bodies and our energy. We mean nobody any harm. All we want to do is confirm that you're here. We want to see you. We want to hear you. So we invite any energy, negative or positive, to come here and join us tonight. So please, come and show yourself. Do not be afraid. Anything that you can do oh, is just welcomed. Up. Basement just lit up. Oh, oh shit. What the f***? What the f***? Bill or Victoria? Will you please set off one of our devices on the ground if you're still here and you can still hear me? Lights. No. Lights. Wait. You think those are going off? You have the camera. Dude, I swear to God, if those are going off. In there. I don't see it. Dude, I'm not gonna cap. When we were doing that, I had my eyes closed and everything. It felt like I was being like pulled forward. Like, like I, I kept having to pull myself back. Yeah. Swear to God on everything. There's a weird thing that happens sometimes when you really gather your energy like that. Did you hear that? Dude, and what's crazy is that if Ryan's down on the first floor, why is the elevator still making noise? Oh, Maybe he's riding it? Yo. Oh, that's true. He could be. It could just be taken to different floors. Watch it take him to the basement. Dude, that's probably so scary if 
He's in there, not touching. Vision. Vision. I did say whatever they could do. We want to see them. I really hope that someone's giving him a freaking elevator ride. Oh, Dude, that so, elevator man. that went off like three times after you left. Yeah. Because that would prove what happened to us when we were in the elevator. And Ryan too, if it wasn't working. No way, but what, what happened, bro? I sat in the elevator, right? Watch. Watch this shit. Don't be fearful. Don't be oh, fearful. Shit. Wait. Check it out. Watch, 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 watch. It just keeps going down, dude. I went to the basement, bro. No, <laughs> no, no it didn't. Watch, 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 watch. No way. I literally just said that. I was about to literally walk out into the lobby. Oh, shit. I dropped the phone like I thought somebody was coming in. What the f***? So you didn't hit any buttons? No, I'm all the way at the edge of the thing. I have to physically touch the button. So the exact same thing that happened to and us. It just said, don't be fearful. What is it about the basement? I don't know. Red! As soon as we started talking absolutely. about the basement. Absolutely! absolutely. <laughs> it's something about that basement, dude. I have a theory, and my gut is telling me that what I'm thinking is what whoever's trying to talk to us is trying to confirm. I feel like... This lady in white, if she was actually killed, she was probably killed in the basement. Okay. I don't know. I have no idea what's actually going on right now. I can't explain you having the exact same experience as that us three. We literally, we did that. We went into the freaking elevator and, and we did it hit, down. And here's another thing. We actually hit a button and it still brought us down. Oh, so, okay. true. Question. We hit the fourth floor and brought, brought us, brought to, us the down to the basement. Question. I don't know if you guys can answer this. Elevators. Do they just sit there until somebody presses the button? They stay on whatever floor they were called to last. So yeah, like, typically. Remember when we walked in, when we came from outside, and we came straight up to the elevator? I don't know who was next to me. Need As trust. Need, need trust. Need trust. Cross, cross. That's why they did it for us. That's why they f They tried to prove that we're actually talking to them. I, oh, dude, my mind is blown. I just got Chills, bro, literally. <laughs> you might even be able to see it. Who, who was next to me when I went to the elevator? As soon as I hit the button, the door opened. So it wasn't so like it, it was had still to come there. down. I was with you and Ryan was with you. Yeah, I didn't realize that. I didn't notice that. But I'm just saying, what if? You know, what if the elevator does move on its own? Right. But then again, we have the stories that say that apparently a spirit can manipulate the elevator. Right. But... How weird is it that the same thing happened to two different groups in the really? same night? Yeah. When I was in there, I asked if they could take me to the basement. I thought no I was going to go down to the lobby. Yeah, I asked right before the button even went off. It happened? Yeah. I died. No f***ing way. I died. Okay. Dude. This is, this is insane. And I was just talking about how she died, how I feel like the lady in white died. Literally, Down yeah. In the basement is we really saying. might be on to something right now. Even if she didn't die in the basement, she still has that power or whatever spirit has that power, but they want us to know that they are here. They want our trust. And most importantly, that we actually are talking to the dead. You heard that? Here's what I think we should do. Let's do a couple of EVPs, just like you said a bit ago. Mm -hmm. After that, what I think we should do, since we do have two rooms, you guys will go in the other room. Us three will stay in here and see what differences we can get. We'll send you guys with a couple of devices, stick us with a couple of devices, and just go from there. Uh, what do you guys think? Real quick. Be careful. Whoa, you said, what do you think? Be careful. Oh my dude. God, dude. Okay, so that's okay. not telling me that the thing about the evil spirits could be true. Now here's another theory. Evil spirits are more known to be able to manipulate a lot of things. They're asking us to trust them. Oh, they shit. need that. That's what demonic spirits, that's what evil oh does. Oh my god. And here we are talking about splitting up. Obvious. Oh, oh my dude. god, dude. <laughs> I, I want to retire. Look at my arms, bro. They're starting to. Look, 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 I can look, see look, the look, goosebumps look. on your arms, bro. Holy. F wow. If you guys do want to see their portion of them in the other room, you guys are going to have to go ahead and check their video out. But for now, let's start doing some EVPs. I'm walking normally right now, and not a single 
noise. Maybe it's my attachment. You have an attachment? I don't know. We were told that one of us has an attachment last week. Wait, now that's weird. Why did it go off for Ryan? This is really know. weird. Chase, walk past that. I, I need, we need to test this. Maybe you don't have a soul. It might be attracted to souls. It might be it. Debunk. No? No way! Why? You gotta, you gotta walk past that. We, need, we gotta figure this out right now. This is it. Why it has an attachment? No It went off for all three of you! But not for I us! I was just joking, but apparently I'm not. And what? Oh. Wait, no, this is, this is, this is really scary. Holy shit, what? no, I actually have the chills right now. What if something's following you guys around? Look, it went off again. You two do it again. All right. Okay. No way! Okay, go, Chase. Please go off. You gotta be kidding me, dude. No! Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Please don't. Okay, can I tell you something? What we got oh, dude. Oh, dude. So <laughs> you gotta see this. What we got last dude. week. My arms, too. Check this. We filmed an episode last week, and somebody through the device had told us that all three of us have a, an attachment. And that it just, just that literally it. just proves it right so, there. So oh the my said attachment, we did an EVP, right? We asked, which one of us has an attachment? Because you told us, attachment, you said attachment. So we listened to the recording and it said all three of you. Hmm. No literally, way. Literally, yeah. Day. This doesn't necessarily like relate to this place, but this is, dude, this is evidence. It's is, proving something. You literally just seen it. Both of us just recorded it. Seth walks through, nothing. Wyatt walks through, Something, it goes off. Yeah. Ryan goes through, goes off. River goes through, goes off. I go through, it. nothing happens. Multiple times. Multiple times. Also at the same pace too. If anything on my body would set that off, this would be charging. This would be going. Literally. In EMF meter. Oh shit! shit. Too. That's kind of. See. This is crazy. That's nuts. Wait, hold on. Dude. Seth, go stand right where he is, please. I can empty my pockets as well. Yeah, no, I'm even gonna empty mine too, even though nothing's going off for me. And I have my wallet, okay? Ryan's phone is currently on the table where it's here. That's his phone. Empty nothing. Nothing in my hat. No hat trick. This is f weird. See that? Empty pockets. Yeah, and it keeps going off every time you walk by. I have a normal break. This gives me anxiety, dude. dude. I'm not even through like two or three times. Dude, I'm gonna that test way that one more time. Just stand there. Just I'm just gonna stand there, just like you did. Go a little closer. Dude, there is no way. I'm sorry, I have to cuss right now. It's so <laughs> door so <laughs> Then it goes. Dude. As soon as he walked over. <laughs> Boys, that's really not good. <laughs> that's so not good. It's, it's actually not good. That's really not good. <laughs> Look, this is, this so is so nuts. So... This is right before we started doing an EVP session. I think we need to now do an EVP session. I got, oh, I find got out questions. Find out not only if someone's here, this might be why we catch shit all the time. I'm dead. Look at this. I'm serious. Well, now this is much more than yeah, just the yeah. history about this place. Where we're at. Yeah, this is now this is concerning you guys and your safety. Because because last week we were really trying to find out who's attached to us. And look at how much this is going off. I got shit in my pockets. Look, nothing. I know I'm slapping my own, but I'm trying to prove a point here. I'm trying to prove something. Can you make that go off if we have an attachment? I know it sounds funny, but I just want to know. You think you could tell us? I don't know. That's so weird. Yeah. Get this. Remember how I was explaining how this thing works and told you guys that it's not very sensitive to humans. Right. It's sensitive to something with a whole lot of energy. Dude, we have literally an attachment that could very well be a demon. There's some crazy. We've dabbled with some crazy shit lately, but this has been going on for like a while now. How long? <sighs> Months. How how do we debunk that? We tried. We just tried. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Did you just see that? It's like up and down. Okay. Let's jump Let's... into an EVP session. Hold on. Turn that off. 
See? We want... That's weird. We want... Uh, wait, what? Didn't you just turn it off? I thought so. Did you just re-turn it on and off? Yeah. It went off? Yeah. After you turned it off? I turned it off. You saw me switch the <laughs> button. So I, I watched you do it. You're so That's Dude, so I'm, I'm gonna throw up. That is physically, scientifically impossible. Now that we are all gathered here at this table, we're gonna try another method so that we can continue to speak to you. But before that, what I'd like you to do... Did you hear that? Yeah. Like not. Not I heard it. Yeah, it was like right behind you. I know, I, I thought I was tripping, but that was a <laughs> pretty good knock. What I'd like for you to do while we ask our questions is turn on this flashlight. I'm gonna go ahead and set it right here. And while we ask our questions, if you'd like to show us that you can turn it on, then please do so. Take your time. We're also going to ask questions, like I said. I'm not going to explain this one. This is going to be a trigger. Just oh, dude. Whoa. I was about to turn my camera on, and the flashlight just went off as we're getting ready to start our EVP session. Can you turn that off for us, please? You can do it. Shit. Off. Dude. That turning off literally gave me like that full body chill, you know? Okay. We're gonna go ahead and do a couple of EVPs. So, let's start. If you can, and you'd like to use your words a little bit better, we're gonna ask a couple of questions. I want you to speak into this little box here. I'm gonna go ahead and set it down. Speak loud and clear. It's the only way we're gonna be able to find out what you're saying. Who is here with us right now? Is Bill still here? Is the lady in white here? Is the lady in white's name Victoria? Is that you guys? who work the elevator. Bro, it yeah, went it That's me. Too. Yeah, it went. Dude, that sounded so close that I don't know if we can. That is not us. None of us are moving right now. That's a physical grab. That is a physical grab. Can you let go? What the f Please let go. Oh. Whoa. Dude. Thank you. It didn't go off the whole time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait dude. until after the steps. Maybe they walked over here and sat down. Okay. Let's yeah. listen to this. We're about to find out. Who is here with us right now? Yes. White name Victoria. yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Work the elevator. Yeah, oh. It answered every it question. Every question, dude. Holy shit! My, I literally, I can't even pull up my sleeve. My chills are so bad dude, right I now. I answered every. That never happens. No, it never answers every question. <gasps> Grabbing it again. That's what that flashing red light means. Let go again, please. Thank you. Should we play that back one more time? I do want yeah. to. Yeah. Okay, be extra quiet. Who is here with us right now? Bill still here. I am. Is the lady in white here? Is the lady in white name Victoria? It sounds like Victoria. You guys to work the elevator. Yes. It was either Victoria wow. or yes, it is. Dude, those like, first two are clear as day. Yeah. Okay. It, the first it one said, sounds like it says it's us. It said I'm here. Okay. That's nuts. Also, yeah, the fact that we had the recorder set on the table and nobody was moving, doing shit. No, I literally had the perfect awesome. angle to show that no one. 
Grab that hard, please. Are you right here sitting at this table? If you have some time and would like to continue to show us that you're here. That flashlight. Ooh, I just saw that go up too. What, the K2? Yes. That flashlight right at the end of the table. I want you to turn that on again too. Don't be afraid. We're gonna ask a couple of more questions right now. But please, continue to show us that you're here. Thank you so far. Bill or Victoria, do you guys know that you're dead? Do you know any information about the two evil spirits here? Victoria, is it true that you were strangled here? Were you murdered? Were you murdered in the basement? Where's all the kids everyone talks about? It sounded like it was a wall, but I didn't know exactly what direction. That was pretty out. hollow, huh? Like, yeah, these walls are really hollow. The fact that you asked where the kids were at afterwards, you guys want to know something wild? Oh, don't say it. Yeah, don't say it. To the kids, <laughs> you just to hide. Say it. Does that not seem like it'd be a spot for a kid to hide? Oh my god, like if they had a crawl space? Oh my god, dude. And they, most likely, like back in the day, that probably was yeah. hollowed out and empty. That's freaking creepy, man. Bill, for Victoria, do you guys know that you're dead? Do you know any information about the two evil spirits here? I do. Victoria, is it true that you were strangled here? Were you murdered? Were you murdered in the basement? Yes, yes, I was. Where's all yes, the kids everyone talking about? Clear as day, dude. Asked, were you murdered in the basement? And it said, yes, I was. This is so and crazy. The elevator took him to the basement. Yeah. It took us three I'm sorry, to but the I basement. Started getting, like, I was like, where are you going with this? Like, I'm not going to lie. I was like, basement. Why would she be murdered in the basement? How would she be murdered in the basement? But... Yes, that story. Lots of people get brought to the basement. Why? Let's ask, why, why yes. do you bring people down to the basement? I feel like she does this to, to like Tell try to have people find out the reason why. Maybe Victoria, you know the saying? lady in white, maybe she can't rest and that's why she keeps bringing people to the basement. You guys also remember when the device said body? Shit, oh my God. Dude. This is, what are we uncovering right now? And it's a tragedy. And disaster. And dangerous. Dude. All in a row. Literally. While we are talking about the lady in white. This is getting freaking gnarly. Dude. Dude, every, it's lined up way too perfect. Everything's just making way too much sense right now. Yeah, this can't be a coincidence. It, can, it just can't be. This is we gotta see what this thing says. Yeah, let's listen one more time. Bill, for Victoria, do you guys know that you're dead? Yes, I was. You nailed it. Where's all the kids everyone talks about? In the right walls. Here? That's what in I heard. Wait, that's what I heard, dude. I just didn't want to say. In I, the I walls. thought I heard in the walls. Really? And the knock came behind me in a hollow Check wall. It out. Check it out. Dude, One more time. One more time. I'm just going to listen to that question. Where's all the kids everyone talks about? Oh my God, it says oh, in, in the walls. It, 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 literally, Dude, there it is literally goes in the walls. Yes. Just like that. And you were saying the kids like, like to, to play hide and seek. Well, that and during the time. So the kids would actually get treated like shit. So the parents would not bring the kids to any of the events that would happen here. In the dining halls, right? The they would bring halls. them to their own dining hall. They brought them to the basement, dude. And if they, yeah. No way. They brought them to the basement. That was in the video. Wait. 
Dude, oh. I'm getting like teary eyed right now. No, they brought them to the basement, bro. Right they now. brought them to the basement. I remember that being in the video, dude. Do you remember reading that they were brought by the staircase? They had to be snuck through the secret staircase. In that video from 1999, so you don't know what modifications they made now, the dude said there was a door and he opened it and it was covered up. It was just a door leading to nothing, just a wall. They never opened it. So who says that they didn't take the frame out? What, what, what if it's right here, dude? What, what if they just took the dual frame out? Oh my God. Dude, this is, this is so crazy. Dude, this it's is like crazy. This is unbelievable. This is seriously the most insane this evidence kinda, i've ever got I, this is like literally a whole story dude yeah like guys okay so maybe i'm spitting ball okay maybe the woman the reason why she died in the basement is maybe she was trying to save the kids dude this is insane i i could just be spitting ball but why did victoria give us all this information like i feel like we've uncovered so much now, here's another thing. I'm also having the feeling that the two evil spirits here are the ones who killed. Oh. What the What? F I heard that. I don't know if that was my flashlight. Camera. Look at Holy the flashlight. F flashlight. Dude, oh. it just shut off, dude. Something literally Bro, just I don't know. It just turned on! I don't know if that was my camera. Was Wait, what, what dude? Dude, dude my, my camera's off right now. Look at my nerves. Wait, so it's turned off? Dude, I that don't. Sounds like it could have, like. I, I don't know if that was my or something. Oh, it was on. Oh, it was on? See? It no, would have moved if yeah. it didn't move. It was like that the whole time. The uh, uh, opposite way. It, it was literally deep. like this. It was literally just like that. And I was just like this. But the fact that the flashlight turned off and flickered again after I had gotten done Like someone just that. did something so my, right my next cam, to So my camera was on, but the lens was in. It moved in. Wait. I don't know. If, if your camera was on and the lens moved in, it focused on whatever was close enough. And then the flashlight <gasps> went Oh my on god! Because it went wide. Holy shit! <laughs> what Whoa. is going on, dude? Whoa. Guys, what I say... Dude? Okay, I say we split up for like 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. See what more information we can catch, but then that's it. We're ending yeah. it there. The flashlight went off again. Yeah, might as well. Okay, it's gonna be us three, myself, River, and Wyatt. The other two, they're gonna go through the other room. So, like I said, if you guys want to see that, go watch their videos. Shit's about to get crazy. Okay, now it's just us three in here. The other two are in the room next door. So if anybody decided to stay with us, to talk to us a little bit more, we want to gather a little bit more information if that's okay. I'm bringing out the device that you can use your words once again. Speak loud and clear. We want to know how the woman had died. We want to know who strangled her. Or maybe just... Jeez. Hey, sorry. <laughs> Dude. Did you get scared? You went holes. Holy Dude, I wonder. I had, to, I had to come in here to get my headphones. That scared the crap. Shadow! Shadow! Guys, that's the same. Wait, wait, wait. Guys, you want to hear the question I just asked? We want to know who killed you, how you died. Remember I told you the two men. People know those two men as shadow men. No way. You guys got to get out of here. Wait, wait, we just came uh, in. Yeah, let's get those headphones. Right oh my god. Okay. Okay. They had to grab their backpack. But right away, more information. So you're saying there was a shadow. Do you know if it was the two men that are haunting this hotel now? The two evil spirits. We're trying to get your story correct. So please. I'm gonna turn this back on. Remember, all you have to do is walk in front of it. It's gonna turn it on, it's gonna calibrate again. And then after that has nothing to do with any of us. Please walk around. That device right there will detect your movement. I don't know if it was you earlier. Agitated. Oh shit. Is that what happened? Somebody was agitated. We only have a little bit more time here with you. I don't want to take up all the energy that you have. 
but whoever is here with us, we want to know the story. We want to know the truth. Please walk in front of this right here, a device, just like you were doing earlier every day. No way, no way. There it goes. There it goes. Thank you. Keep going, please. It's not you. You're way too far away. Keep walking in front of it, please. Nothing. So it's not you. It was conjured. Whoa, dude. That was very specific. Hold on, guys. Could this be the energy or whatever's attached to us? Dude, I, I'm just saying because we had that weird experience earlier, right? That only makes sense. If you're here with us, and you're attached to one of us, or all three of us, walk in front of that device, please. Prove to us that you're here with us. We just want to know. Child. Oh! Wait, so is it the children or whatever's on us? I have no idea. Or do we have a kid? No way we have a kid. We oh. just got child. Dude, that was awesome. Whatever is attached to us, if you can hear me, obviously you know how everything works. You know what we do by now. Why don't you make yourself known? Cry. Cry? Why? I did ask not long ago. I said, how did it happen? How did you get killed? And I said something along the lines of, maybe the woman went down there to try and help the children. So maybe she's saying it was because of the children they were crying. <sighs> agitated somebody and they strangled her. her. Oh my god! <laughs> okay dude, that's not oh, real. Shit. That is not real. Oh. Okay then. Whoa. Oh shit. Who is this now? Look at my arms. Yeah. Dude, we are literally like to the T figuring this out. Vision. That's twice. Okay, wait, hold on. Maybe she's talking about her vision going away as she's strangled, so she doesn't oh necessarily my know. God. I'm just saying, because, like, and your vision. Shadow. You lose your vision, like, when you're getting strangled. When you're a lack of oxygen. You start, your eyes start to fade. I could be wrong. My lungs. I couldn't breathe. Lack of oxygen. Getting strangled. My eyes. Vision. My lungs. Focus on you. Here, let me get out of the way. Nope. I think that finishes up her story right there. That finishes all of that. Give us information about the evil spirits that are here, please. The two men. Where are they? Where are these evil men? Please answer us. Watch out. Watch out as we're talking about them. For what? You gotta be a little bit more specific, please. Don't worry, we'll be okay. We just wanna find out where they are. Are they with us by any chance? Dude, River. We're gonna just came up behind you, stopped mid-air, and took a 90 degree right into your back. What? What could have caused that? His light wasn't even pointing at me. No glare? Uh-uh, I'm doing it right now. It went up, stopped, and dead 90 degrees right through you. What the f***? I wonder if that was a glare of something. I don't think so, I'm not seeing it right now. Move your light around a bit. No. I just want to say thank you. Whoever was talking to us, if this is the woman, the children, thank you for talking to us and thank you for giving us your story. We are very thankful. Dude, this place is insane. This place is pretty wild for sure. This is one of the best hotels that we've ever gotten. Oh, for sure. Is there any way that you can show us? You don't have to if you don't have energy. Make one of those balls over there on the bed start to light up. He <laughs> Killed. There's no he way. Strangled her. Dude, my throat just started hurting. I'm not even kidding, dude. Just thinking about that, like my throat just like got really tight. Who killed? Was it more than one guy? See. 
see? Didn't see. I didn't see them. I didn't see who it was. What if, dude? She knows that it was definitely someone, but doesn't know who it was. Both she of them. did say shadow. Yeah. Like she saw their shadow when it happened. Yeah. Dude? We don't know, but like that sounds pretty close. Are we correct? Do you not know who they are? Maybe you can let us know that. That would really help us. One more time. All of us thank you, whoever is here, whoever can hear me, to each and every one of you. Thank you. I'm so sorry for what you've gone through. We are going to be leaving now. We don't want to take up too much of your energy. We don't want to bother you anymore. If you do need our help to get out of this building, what you need to do is follow us out the front door. Once we leave that front door, you're going to see a white light and then you are free. I hope that works for you. And if it doesn't, I, I'm so sorry, but it's worth a try. Okay, Ghost Gang, we are going to meet back up with Seth and Chase, and hopefully we can match the evidence with them on what they captured on their end. So, let's meet up with the boys. So much shit happened. I can't, Dude, I can't even like remember the order in which it went. Dude, before we even like really started, so I'm sitting down. I just feel like there's people behind me, dude. This is literally like what our goal was. We wanted them to split off from us so that we can see and compare what evidence we got. Tonight's investigation was insane. It was literally a success. All across the board. Yeah. Like from, from beginning to end. With that being said, guys, if you did enjoy this episode, please help us get this video to 20,000 likes. That's just gonna let us know that you do enjoy the kind of content we do put out. Go down in the description, subscribe to Seth Borden if you're not, and subscribe to Chase Borden if you want him to start doing more investigations because come on, look at his beard. <laughs> One last thing, if you are not subscribed to this channel and you do find yourselves coming back quite frequently, please give us a chance. Subscribe to our channel. Literally, if you don't like it later on, it takes two seconds. Unsubscribe. Free. Just do it, man. Be a part of the ghost gang. We love you, and we'll see you next week. Peace. I've been in the world.